Hello guys, namaste. First thing first, the boot animation of Android Marshmallow is pretty awesome as you can see it. And let's see what else it features. So the first thing we did when we got Android Marshmallow is go to settings and check out the Easter egg. On Lollipop, they had the Lollipop coming up and then the game. So let's see what does this feature. On the developer preview too, it had nothing but just the M. So let's check it out over here. And by the way, presenting to you Android Marshmallow. Yeah, that was the hype but as you can see the easter egg is pretty simple nothing new the same which was on developer preview 1 developer preview 2 nothing has been changed as much so coming to the first feature is apps permission on the android m which this is the most liked feature and most useful feature because sometimes as you can see um, i'll go to some games like brain dots and then scroll down to permissions in this this application takes my settings of phone and microphone now why the hell does the game requires my phone settings so i can just deny it as you can see it over here i'll deny of microphone as well you can allow or deny any permission that the app requires this is pretty cool feature as you can have control or you can have more privacy Coming to the point 2, Project Dose. This is particularly based on the battery saving function of Android. With this, you can save a battery lot more. Believe me, I have used this for a day and I can see the improvement. They are major improvements and I am really happy with that. As you can see in the battery optimization, all apps have been optimized. And I prefer you do not mess up with this because it's for your sake, your battery so particularly keep it the way it is only do things which you know do not change anything that's pretty much for this and fyi if you are a wallpaper lover android m marshmallow which is now official comes with many wallpapers unlike developer preview 2 and 1 here they have given many options of wallpaper and I personally like this one. I don't know why, but this is pretty cool. So that's pretty much on wallpaper. Coming to the feature 3, which is memory. So the memory is basically how much memory your application and your system is using. You get a complete detail of all the things. And this is pretty much cool. So you can know which application to uninstall and which to keep. This is pretty new. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. As you can see, you can set on 12 hours, 3 hours. Android OS is used by 293. Coming to the next point, explore. This is basically the first time where Android, stock Android I mean, has given you a file explorer. As you can see on the internal storage, you will see an option called explore. You can also clear cache directly as you could have done it on Android 5.0 scrolling down to explore here is the full internal storage you can select you can see how much thing which place takes how much space coming to the next point now on tab the most 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 weighted feature of android m now on tab however this still doesn't work uh, maybe they will show up this in the final preview only However, I have this option of enabling it. I have enabled it. So let's see how it works. We will make a video on it if we can as soon as possible. As you can see now it says that cards about the screen you were just aren't available in this feature in this release. Coming to the other awesome features. As you can see these are the minute changes. As you can see now you can delete a screenshot which you have taken directly from the notification bar which is pretty useful and was not there earlier also the do not disturb feature as you all know it was released with in the first preview as well you can get your silence back android 5.1 had did not have silent feature it you could only keep it on vibrate or on ringing but now you can put it on silent 
so that's pretty much on android marshmallow yes marshmallow and not m pretty pretty awesome right